joins us each and every day to give us a look at the markets, past and present. Good morning, Scott Crothers. Good morning, McGraw. All right. Not a good day yesterday. Bit of a tank. What happened? It's yeah. <laughs> a nice way to put it. Yes, uh, yesterday the Dow lost 123 points, closed at 19,971. Now, airlines, financial, and technology stocks sold off, but were but there was selling all the way around. Personal income and spending increased last month, giving more reasons for the Fed to increase rates this year. We were off 223 points in the morning, but selling slowed in the afternoon. The yield on the 10-year U.S. Treasury rose to 2.48%. Mm-hmm. So not a good day yesterday. Yeah, all right. Well, at least we fought back a little bit after being down all that way. Uh, you're mentioning personal income. Let's dive into that a little bit. What's going on? Right. Personal income increased three-tenths of a percent in December uh, from November. Personal spending increased a half percent. Spending jumped for big-ticket items like cars and appliances. It was up modestly for clothes and gasoline. Mm. The personal savings rate fell 5.4 percent, uh, well, to 5.4 percent from 5.6 percent, indicating Americans are comfortable with, fi- with the finances and willing to spend Customer spending makes up about two thirds of our economy, so these numbers are important numbers. So, yeah, all right, that's personal income. What is Reinsurance Group? Well, Reinsurance Group, which is based in Chesterfield or RGA, now they reported earnings yesterday. They reported strong numbers. You know, after the market closed, fourth quarter net premiums rose seven percent and came in at two point five billion dollars, and they made a profit of one hundred ninety million. Hundred ninety million for all of 2016. RGA made a profit of 701 million dollars, up from 502 million the year before. So it's kind of interesting that a reinsurance group can make that much money. And a reinsurance group is a is it a group that insures insurance companies? Yes. Which when I, I learned that a while ago, and I was like, really? Insurance companies buy insurance. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, on their risk. On their risk. It. Yeah, it's really interesting. All right. And then finally, uh, what are we hearing from Microsoft? Uh, Microsoft issued $17 billion worth of bonds yesterday. Uh, and demand was so strong, the deal was increased from $14 billion up to the $17 billion uh, mark. Their 10-year bond had a coupon of 3.3%, and Microsoft now has $59.3 billion worth of debt up from zero back in 2008. Now, why would they do that? Just increase their leverage, you know, and, and money's cheap right now. Oh. So they can go out and borrow money very inexpensively, much much cheaper than, you know, you know, having their equity in it. Gotcha. So the, so whenever they want to spend it, it's cheap It's cheap to have. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And so far this year, investment-grade companies have issued a record $146 billion worth of debt so a lot of your big investment-grade companies are going out there and accessing the debt markets. I guess the idea is that interest rates will be going up, so money will be more expensive in the future. So let's just get it now and uh, hold on to it. Right. Take, adva- take advantage of these low interest rates right. to take on the debt. Hmm. So. Interesting. All right, good. Scott Crothers with Steve Nichols. Good stuff today. How do the markets look today after the down day yesterday? Uh, today the Dow looks off 20 points. Now, we do get earnings from Pfizer and ExxonMobil this morning and from Apple after the bell. We also get a look at consumer confidence this morning. So I'll have to wait and see how those things come out. Scott Crothers, have yourself a good day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Sounds great. Thank you. Scott Crothers with us each and every morning to read the tea leaves for us. And I highly recommend if you want somebody to look at your portfolio, none better than our man Scott Crothers and Stephen Nicholas. Uh, right there, his uh, office is on Conway and Lindbergh, right behind Calico Corners. He's been with us for years, and we love having him get up early and tell us all about it. Uh, straight ahead, 643, Brad Melke has more.